I first met Laura on my first day in secondary school back in 2002 where she caught my eye straight away, but I didn't bid up the courage to ask her out until five years later. <laughs> Since the first time I met you, I've always loved your sense of humour and your easygoing attitudes. In 2019, as some of you may know, me and Laura decided to take a year out of work to travel around the world. Prior to leaving Ireland for South America, I decided I would ask Laura to marry me in Machu Picchu in Peru. For the next nine weeks, I had to try and hide my engagement ring in my backpack before we got to Peru, which was pretty hard since we practically lived in each other's pockets. Thankfully, Laura accepted my proposal, and she didn't notice the fact that I changed into a brand new shirt and jeans once we got to the top of the mountain <laughs> before I proposed. <laughs> If it was Mary only going up to the shed for a bucket of turf, poor old little Johnny beside me would turn on the waterworks. <laughs> Ball his eyes out, pining for his mother, waiting for her at the front door, and she'd come back in. I think he must have been in around transition here in the convent at the time. <laughs> John Francis is a very straight shooter, and what you see is what you get. He's very diligent in everything he puts his mind to, and inevitably he makes a success out of it. And I've no doubt, Laura, that he will make you very happy, as you will him. We are very proud of Laura, as she is a very special person. She's a great daughter, sister and friend, and has a very special bond with her father. She is extremely kind, practical and generous with her time and has been a wonderful support to us. John has really been great, easy to get along with and polite and everything and we're all really fond of John. Dad especially was really fond of John and uh, any time we'd mention him he'd always say John is king. So, <laughs> Laura, wear this ring. Wear this ring. It's a sign of our faithful love. It's a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. John, John Francis. Francis, wear this, this ring. As a sign of our faithful love. As a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to congratulate John and Laura on their wedding. Uh, I wish them luck, health and happiness in the years to come. Laura, I want to welcome you into the family. Laura, you're a lady and it's a privilege to have you as a daughter-in-law.
she is the most beautiful and caring person that I've ever met, who always tries to put everyone else before herself. For most of you who've had the pleasure of spending time with John, you will know what a happy, fun and sociable person he is. John is that person at a party, initiating conversation, asking what you do for work and what you're getting up to for the weekend. John is a beautiful person both inside and out and I'd like to thank John for asking me to be his wife three years ago and for going through with it today. <laughs> um, I look forward to all the fun we'll have and travelling we'll do over our lives together. Laura is not only my best friend but also now my wife. We've shared many, so many special memories together and I'm sure there will be many more in the future. I love you in more ways than you could ever believe. Congratulations, you're Mr. Thinking High.